BBIG stock continues to run and the stock is currently exploding. Let's talk about why this is happening. A huge piece of news that I think will cause the stock to run even more. And of course, my full depth analysis on BBIG. Make sure to watch to the very end of this video so you don't miss any of that content and make sure to like the video and subscribe. Also check out our link down in the description below to pick up a free stock with public. It's a great social investing network that you guys can join up with and talk about some of your favorite stocks and what's going on in the current market. But other than that guys, let's get right into this video. Alrighty guys, here we are with BBIG or Vinco Ventures, whichever you would like to refer to it as. We're sitting at about $11.52 a share, up about 19.25% on the day here today. Uh, and it's been running like this almost for the past couple of days here, as you can see here on September 7th, or yeah, September 7th, we had a huge run yesterday up to the 35 to like 30, like 6% gain level, uh, you know, up all the way up to $11 here a share. And now we're pushing even higher. Uh, and uh, there's a lot of reasons for this. There's a lot of different news articles coming out at the same time. There's a lot of different speculation and everything. Uh, the one for today, however, you can see right here, it even says Vinco Venture shares are trading higher if the company announced its 2021 annual proxy details and provided a corporate update. The stock has seen heavy momentum due to popularity among retail investors. And this is incredibly true because obviously one, these news article pieces or this, these pieces of news that have come out concerning the company are obviously very positive. But also to the fact that there's a lot of retail interest in the stock uh, means that even a small piece of news, whether it's even, you know, crazy, you know, good or crazy bad, whatever it might be, uh, usually traders who, especially retail in this instance, don't care because they like the stock, they're going to invest in it and buy up the shares anyways. And there's going to be a massive amount of buying volume. We can scroll down here and actually see some of those, uh, for instance, right here, Vinco Ventures announces its 2021 uh, annual proxy. Let's accept, accept the cookies here real quick. And we'll read just a little bit about this before we hop into the main article today. Uh, but this is just kind of a quick kind of summarization of everything. Uh, Bold Vision World's largest video vocabulary to accelerate the world's transition to video first expression. Uh, just kind of their mission statement, anticipate projected other words negative when used in the presentation, forward looking statements, all that fun stuff. Uh, and overall, it's, it's really just a headline piece. There it is, <laughs> uh, pretty much, and that is good news, of course. Let's hop into the main article today, though. This is in the future, actually. This is on October 15th, which is going to be a very big deal, in my opinion. Uh, and let's get into why and kind of just the mechanics and what's going on here. So, dear BBIG stock fans, mark your calendars for a big crypto catalyst on October 15th. The next big thing is right around the corner for Reddit favorite. Vinco Ventures is a company known for leveraging new market opportunities through its BIG, buy, innovate, grow strategy, a model that has helped give new meaning to the phrase buying big. It has made plenty of headlines recently, but this morning the company released a proxy detailing some big news. As a result, BBIG stock has shot up. A month of growth for BBIG stock is not over yet. BBIG stock has had an impressive month the end of August, saw a catapult from less than $3 per share to just over 11 in just a few days, making a gain of over over 220%. The past week was a bit rockier, but since yesterday, the stock has climbed more than 40%. As riding this, it is up 13% on the day. Uh, and then as you can see here, the proxy presentation is mentioned once again. Uh, in it, the company outlined a highly detailed plan for a spinoff titled Cryptide. This spinoff will focus on leveraging blockchain technologies to disrupt consumer facing industries. Really interesting stuff here. This is something I've never heard a company uh, propose it do, nor have I ever heard of a project uh, that that would concern itself with doing this. This is absolutely fascinating to me, and I think this is really a big step up for this company. Investors take note, the spinoff will also include eNFT.com, a venue designed to provide a unique tokenization platform for content creators and help decentralize traditional distribution models. The presentation notes eNFT.com, initial launch was received well, with the first uploaded image selling over 1 million copies. This makes it the first album in history to reach platinum on the blockchain. Very interesting stuff there. Uh, so guys, overall, I won't read the whole article because obviously I don't want to waste your time. It's it's you know a lot of kind of fluff just between uh, you know why it's running, why Wall Street bets, all that fun stuff, the forums, Cryptide spinoff. So Cryptide is their next big project that they're pushing forward, and it's going to be a heavily focused uh, blockchain effort, right, to get into that world, to kind of establish itself in Web 3.0, uh, especially with NFTs, especially with things like cryptos, obviously. Uh, but the NFT website, I think, is, is what really fascinates me the most. This is, in my opinion, a very big deal. NFTs right now, you know, just as a speculative asset class, uh, are soaring, right? We're seeing people make 
50,000, 60,000, 100,000 dollars off some of these random photos of JPEGs that they're buying online, right? Which is, is, is incredible. It's incredible to see this kind of growth uh, from this company. Now, uh, what I do want to say though, is that of course, NFTs might have a shorter kind of like lifestyle or life cycle rather, uh, you know, NFTs at any day now could, you know, become irrelevant and it could be just kind of a fad that happens for a little bit. But I'd also argue, because th that's, that's the naysayers, that's not me saying that. I don't believe that personally not my personal opinion on NFTs. I think that if anything, NFTs are going to continue to run in a positive direction. And I think if anything, they're only going to grow over the next coming years. I think the NFT marketplace in general is one that is still undervalued in my opinion. And yes, I know there's plenty of people who say that this is just a fad and that it's gonna end and eventually everyone's gonna be like, come, back, come back down to earth and you know it's all gonna be fine and everything. But again, I really do think that this is uh, something cryptide as far as what they're calling it. Vinco Ventures is pushing it forward. I think this is going to be a very big deal. Uh, and that being said, guys, I'm, I'm just really looking forward to what they do as well as their stock price because their stock price, as you can see here, has been really nicely affected by all of this news, right? All of this information, you know, coming out, of course, uh, has really pushed it up higher. Now, that being said, what I do worry about, though, and this is something I worry about, is that um, even though this catalyst is more than likely going to be proving to be a positive one, I think that even though uh, Vinco is not right now super associated with crypto, it will be in the future. And once it does that, is there going to be problems? Is there going to be, when the crypto markets dip, is Vinco going to dip as well? We've seen this happen with big players like Mara, uh, with, what is it, e Chang, or there's, there's a bunch of other big uh, crypto stocks or crypto related stocks that basically dip heavy when the markets, especially the crypto markets, uh, start to dip as well. They're kind of coincided or co-mingled with them where they move in kind of the same ways. And that's something that I worry about with Vinco because if that happens, this uh, price action obviously, right, will start to get a lot more volatile because we all know the crypto markets are incredibly volatile. That's the reason why so many people swing trade Mara, right? Mara is a very easy swing trade because you get in on those lows, the highs go up and it's kind of just balances out either way. It's so volatile, it works out. But again, that is something that if you're a long-term investor, you might not like. So be aware of that guys, obviously. I'm not saying that that's a bad point about Vinco, Again, I think fundamentally as a business, this is a great, great step uh, in the right direction and I'm really excited to see what they can do with this and what they can push forward into the public eye. Let's end the video off though with just a little bit of technical analysis here on TradingView. Uh, as you can see here, the pre-market session was actually pretty volatile. There was a lot going on in the pre-market session here. Uh, started out kind of nothing much and then all of a sudden explosion in volume as we had a lot of buy orders probably get filled. Uh, and now we're kind of starting the day off where we're still pushing strong. We're still pushing up into the high. And even on stock twist right now, I believe it is number two trending in the entire world or the entire platform, at least on stock twist, which is a very big deal. We're sitting at $11 and 43 cents a share. Uh, what do I think? Do I think it's going to go higher in the short term? Again, as long as volume uh, stays consistent, the RSI hasn't even really confirmed being oversold yet. And we're almost making a bull flag uh, here on the one day, one minute chart, as you can see here. So I wouldn't be surprised if we push higher into the upside into the close of today's market session, guys. But um, again, long term, I do think that this stock has a lot of potential. We can even go down here and see it. I don't even know if this stock has price targets yet. The only price target is, well, zero. Yeah, there's no price targets for this stock yet. So guys, this is still a very new stock. There's a lot of risk here. So be aware, manage your risk. But again, uh, if you believe in this stock long term, you know, uh, you know, Congratulations, that's awesome for you. And I hope that you know everything works out great, guys. Uh, but fundamentally, I really believe in this stock, I think. I've, after reading you know, just all these different articles and reporting a few videos on it and everything, uh, learning more about it, I really do like what they're doing. And I think they're going in the right direction as a business, personally. But guys, uh, we make new videos like this every single day. So make sure you subscribe, because we're always talking about different kinds of stocks, BBIG, MMAP Materials, uh, Solana. We talk about crypto. We talk about everything, guys. So make sure you subscribe, guys. But other than that, guys, that is pretty much it today for B-B-I-G. Make sure to like the video, subscribe if you're new, hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video like this. If you guys wanna pick up a free stock with public, check out our link down in the description below. When you guys use that link, not only do you support the channel, but you also can get a great selection of free stocks. And of course, you can join an amazing social investing network where it allows you to buy, sell, and talk about pretty much anything in the stock market with some of your favorite investors and follow people in a real social media environment. But other than that, guys, that is all I have for you guys today. I'm Kyle with Finance, bro. Take it easy.